I created this video to um, demonstrate the finishing touches on a toss and tease demo that I started in one of the online classes that I teach. So the foliage in the pot and also in the tree were uh, completed using the toss and tease demo. Uh, what I'm doing here is adding the um, color to the trunk of the tree using some cobalt blue and some quin burnt orange, letting them mix on the paper. And then moving over to mix up some paint to paint the pot underneath the flowers. So I'm using some uh, quin burnt orange here and a little bit of uh, French ultramarine to add some shadows and then some Scarlet Lake and gold, uh, Quinn Gold to lighten it up where the sun would hit on the left hand side. A little raw sienna on the top of the stone um, where it's sitting and then a little bit of um, cobalt blue and uh, some Quinn Burnt Orange to the side. Filling in the green uh, in the, the background here along uh, around the pot on either side, uh, making it quite warm because I want it to be uh, kind of a middle ground and come forward compared to where I'm going to go next, which is uh, adding in some of the uh, base foliage and shrubbery around the tree. So here I'm going a little bit darker, starting with a, a blue, cobalt blue and some sap green, <clears throat> and then mixing in some sap green and some serpentine green. I'm using the dagger brush here, which has the pointed end, which gives a, a little bit more of a, um, a pointy, uneven kind of uh, finish, especially to the outside edge. It's really good for foliage and spattering in some color uh, as well. Just touching up a little bit around the edges and then anchoring that tree with a little bit of Quinn Burnt Orange at the base. <clears throat> Working some shrubbery in there so that it kind of complements the um, the pot to the right. And then using a grated wash with some uh, cobalt blue uh, and uh, letting it run down the page. Using a mop brush here to try and um, just move it very quickly and also moving it uh, in underneath the the uh, foliage of the trees and in around the branches and uh, around the edges of the plants and in uh, through the, the holes in the trees and the foliage to just give a more natural kind of look. And that's the finished painting.